Yeah, this is Black Light. <clears throat> now, I've been uh, going on YouTube and uh, checking out different people's uh, videos. And some some black people, you know, they, they got their belief and opinion. Just like I got my opinion and belief uh, about things. But... <clears throat> I don't too much, how I prove my case is I don't go back too far in the history because that's a very debatable uh, platform, history. You're going to use history to prove your case about what's happening to the black man and black woman here in America and now abroad and everywhere else. The darker people of the planet. So. Uh, a whole lot of you, uh, a whole lot of you uh, haven't had the benefit of the uh, teachings of the uh, Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, given to him by Master Farah Muhammad. And so you started making statements but not having a real thorough knowledge of yourself. Now that's just not pertaining to history, knowing your history, but it's knowing uh, your circumstances now, you know, knowing your circumstances that you're into now, see. And just knowing your circumstances or <clears throat> the situation you're in now, sometimes that's enough to shut, to uh, close the argument. See, the, uh, the Caucasian, the ones that are very smart, intellect, intellectuals, they know how to uh, use words very effectively. And uh, they think that the English language is theirs. You see? But we showed them it wasn't theirs because we'll take a word like cool and turn it into a whole new meaning. And then they'll start talking like us. You know, every little phrase we get, ebonic, ebonic phrase or whatever, street phrase, or, they'll talk like, you know, you, you see, and they, get, they got mannerisms like us, you know, they adopt our mannerisms, they adopt the way we sing, uh, we gave them, we gave them rhythm, you know, uh, then they started playing the drums, trying to outplay us on the drums. Every instrument that we got on, we mastered, and then they started trying to sound like us. Look how many uh, Caucasians play like uh, uh, George Benson on the guitar and Wes Montgomery. Jimi Hendrix on the guitar. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and they, they played like them, they started off learning from B.B. King guitar, you know, uh, in the sports, you know, they get their style and their uh, swag from the brothers, you know. So, those of you blacks that try to copy them or want to be friends with them, y'all fools. You know, because y'all not recognizing uh, what's around you. You know, it's a whole lot of people that think like y'all, but y'all foolish. And I'm gonna break it down to you like this: you got different species of everything that appear to be alike, but they're not. They got di a different 
culture or a different uh, nature about them. Like you take the eagle, and the eagle is a bird that lives in on mountains high up, but he can see. He got perfect eyesight, and uh, he's a very strong bird, one of the biggest birds it is, and. Uh, he uh, is a master of navigation, aviation. He's a master. Then you take a chicken. A chicken, you know, it's not too much to the chicken, you know. He can't fly high. He could fly a little bit. And he can't really... Uh, well, he just scratches for his food. He's mostly a domestic bird anyway. Uh, they both are birds. They both have feathers. They, they got that same bird look, but they're not alike. The same with the Caucasian and the black man, you know. And I seen a, a, a video where uh, they were showing how the black, how the Caucasian migrated from Africa. And they were showing a present day map. You know, at one time the earth, uh, the, the planets were connected together. I mean, the uh, continents were connected together. You know, and uh, the earth was much bigger and larger than what it is now. But we're not going to go into that. And so the map would look different uh, from the time period that they were talking about, that the, they migrated, the Caucasian, which was the, they were trying to say was the albino, migrated out of uh, Africa. No, it didn't happen like that. They were grafted, clone-like, you know. We were into that. We've been on the planet. And see, I'm gonna tell you what give evidence how, how how advanced that the black man was over the Caucasian is the pyramids. That's all we needed. That's why they still here today to prove who we was. And then you got the Dogon tribe. You know, that's gave uh evidence of the serious star system to the to the white man. You know, so uh, y'all ain't got to argue with them, you know. See, they making videos. They having black people make videos. Uh, they're, kind of, they're kind of black people. They, they think they, you know, intellectually equipped, but they not because they, they don't use reasoning, you know. Uh, cloning... Uh, the way they're cloning now, we was we was into the DNA, into the science. Uh, look how ancient the, the, the planet was. We didn't get, uh, we didn't come from caves, out the caves. See, this is where it's uh, messed up at. Is that the Caucasian is uh, going by when he came out of caves. They came out of the caves, uh, and then he he went to the dark ages, thinking the world was flat, didn't know nothing about medicine, and he he tried to say that uh, he produced us, but now he can't say that no more. So now he's saying that uh, they just albinos. And they they chose to go up to the caves to migrate to the caves of Europe. And how did the caveman get here? If y'all was albinos and y'all went up to the caves uh, of Europe and you, that's where y'all became cavemen at, right? Now what's after that? Y'all done lost the language and knowledge of self, right? In dwelling in them caves. 
So what happened? How did you get it back again? You had to come out them caves, right? But how did you get out them caves if you didn't know nothing else but them caves? Here, this black light, I'm going to come back. Be cool, fool.